Welcome back to another history video. Today we will be discussing the European theater of World War II. World War II was a global military conflict lasting from 1939 to 1945, including most of the world's nations. It was the most widespread war in history, with more than 100 million military personnel mobilized. World War II was fought in two theaters, or areas of land, sea, and air directly involved in military operations the European theater, and the Pacific theater. World War II began in Europe. The war is generally accepted to have begun on February for, or sorry, September 1st, 1939, with the invasion of Poland by Germany and Slovakia, and subsequent declarations of war on Germany by France and most of the countries of the British Empire and Commonwealth. Hitler stunned Europe with the speed and efficiency of the German attack, which became known as a Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War. Panzer divisions and planes would break through the Polish lines and encircle back on the confused Polish soldiers, while infantry would then move in to hold the conquered territory. Within four weeks, Poland had surrendered, and Germany and the Soviet Union split Poland between them. After a winter of waiting, called the Phony War, Hitler resumed war on April 9, 1940, with another blitzkrieg against Denmark and Norway. One month later, the Germans attacked the Netherlands, Belgium, and France. The main assault through Luxembourg was unexpected. Germany invaded France, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg on May 10, 1940, the same day Neville Chamberlain resigned as British Prime Minister. The Netherlands and Belgium were overrun using blitzkrieg tactics in a few days and weeks, respectively. The French fortified magnet line, or defensive fortifications, were circumvented by a flanking movement through the thickly wooded Arns region, mistakenly perceived by Br French planners as an impenetrable natural barrier against armored vehicles. British troops were forced to evacuate the continent at Dunkirk, abandoning their heavy equipment by the end of the month. On June 10th, Italy invaded France, declaring war on both France and the United Kingdom. Twelve days later, France surrendered and was soon divided into German and Italian occupation zones. France capitulated on June 22, 1940. Hitler now controlled three-fifths of France, while the southern area of France was controlled by Marshal Henri Pétain, a World War I hero. With France neutralized, Germany began an air superiority campaign over Britain, known as the Battle of Britain, to prepare for invasion. Hitler realized an invasion of Britain would only be possible if Germany controlled the air. In 1940, the Luftwaffe, German Air Force, launched a major offensive against British naval and air bases with massive bombing of cities to try and break morale. Britain withstood the attacks, and by the end of September, Germany had lost the Battle of Britain. June 1941, Germany, along with other European Axis members in Finland, invaded the Soviet Union in Operation Barbarossa. The primary targets of this surprise offensive were the Baltic region, Moscow, and Ukraine, with an ultimate goal of ending the 1941 campaign connecting the Caspian and White Seas. Hitler's objectives were to eliminate the Soviet Union as a military power, exterminate communism, and generate living space by dis dispossessing the native population and guaranteeing access to the strategic resources needed to defeat Germany's remaining rivals. Although the Red Army was preparing for strategic counteroffensives before the war, Barbarossa forced the Soviet Supreme Command to adopt a strategic defense. After two months of fierce battles, the German army almost reached the outer suburbs of Moscow, where the exhausted troops were forced to suspend their offensive. Large territorial gains were made by Axis forces, but their campaign had failed to achieve its main objectives. Key cities remain in Soviet hands. The Soviet capability to resist was not broken, and the Soviet Union retained a considerable part of its military potential. The Blitzkrieg phase of the war in Europe had ended. 
the Red Army repelled the Nazis' strongest blow, and Adolf Hitler was not ach- and Adolf Hitler had not achieved the expected victory. But the Soviet Union's situation remained dire. Tactically, the Germans had won some resounding victories and occupied some of the most economic areas of the country, mainly the Ukraine. Despite these successes, the Germans were pushed back from Moscow and could never mount an offensive simultaneously along the entire strategic Soviet-German front again. Operation Barbarossa was the largest military operation in human history in both manpower and casualties. Its failure was a turning point in the Third Reich's fortunes. Most important, Operation Barbarossa opened up the Eastern Front, to which more forces were committed than in any other theater of war in world history. The German offensive to capture Stalingrad commenced in late summer 1942, supported by intensive Luftwaffe bombing, which reduced much of the city to rubble. The German offensive eventually bogged down in house-to-house fighting, and despite controlling over 90% of the cities at time, the Wehrmacht were unable to dislodge the last Soviet defenders clinging tenaciously. In November 1942, the Red Army launched Operation Uranus, a two-pronged attack specifically targeted at the inferior Romanian and Italian forces, protecting the German six army flanks. The success of these attacks caused the weakly held flanks to collapse and the 6th Army to be cut off and surrounded inside Stalingrad. As the Russian winter set in, the 6th Army weakened rapidly from cold, starvation, and ongoing Soviet attacks. By early February 1943, German resistance in Stalingrad had ceased and the remaining elements of the surrounded 6th Army had either surrendered or had been destroyed. USA entry into the war created a coalition that ultimately defeated the Axis powers. By the fall of 1942, the war had begun to turn against the Germans. By June 4, 1944, the Allies were ready to open their second front in the West, and the D-Day invasion, led by Supreme Allied Commander Dwight D. Eisenhower, stormed the beaches of Normandy on June 6, 1944. The first forces captured the beach, and within, th- within three months, they had landed two million soldiers and half a million vehicles. This remains the largest land and sea invasion in history. Allied forces pushed south and east through German lines. For Paris was liberated by the end of August, and Allied forces began to push into Germany until linking up with the Soviet Union in April of 1945. The Battle of Berlin was designated the Berlin Strategic Offensive Operation by the Soviet Union and was the final major offensive of the European theater of World War II. Soviet forces encircled the city and began their attack. The Battle of Berlin lasted from April 20, 1945 until the morning of May 2nd and was one of the bloodiest battles in history. In 1945, Hitler moved into a bunker underneath Berlin from where he directed the final stages of the war. He committed suicide on April 30th, two days after Mussolini had been killed. The war in Europe was over. However, fighting in the Pacific continued and is where we will pick up tomorrow.